Okay. Okay. So I call the meeting to order at 1232 on Monday, November 14th, COA board meeting. Uh, we need a roll call vote for who is present. Okay. Paula? Yes. Carol? Yes. Laughlin? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine? Yes. <laughs> Teresa? Yes. Jack? Yep. Donna? And Cindy? We're all there. There you go. Harvey is absent. Absent yeah. Harvey and absent Teresa. Carol Smith. No, and Carol, Carol Smith. Smith. Yeah. Okay, seeing none, we'll skip public participation. Everybody receive October minutes. Yes. 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 Any corrections or changes? Mm -hmm. Right, seeing none, do I have a motion to accept? I a motion to accept. I'll second. Okay. All right, Carol. Then. Okay. We need a roll call vote to accept October minutes. Carla. Yes. Carol. Yes. Teresa. Yes. Jack. Yes. Donna. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, motion Should carried I have, I unanimously. Yes, I did. Sorry. <laughs> okay. New business. Jingle Bell Jubilee. December 14th. Um, <clears throat> Peter Courier just entered the meeting as just a guest. Oh, okay. From the Westfield News. Okay. Hi, Peter. Hello. Okay, so the Jingle Bell Jubilee is December 14th. Um, we, you know, it's our regular annual Christmas party. We're opening it up to 100 people. Um, we do have Tucker's secured like we usually do um, with the two choices of uh, Yankee pot roast and um, a fish. It'll either be scrod or cod, depending on them, I guess. Um, so the Southwick Civic Fund made a $500 donation mm. to us to be able to keep the cost at $15 per senior. Wow. Um, because the, as we know, every everything is going up. So um, that was a donation towards this specific party um, to be able to keep the costs low so that people will participate. We don't want money to be a factor of people not being able to participate. Mm -hmm. So that was very generous. I also have a um, email into the select board to ask, um, for a contribution from their gift account to help pay for the department heads and the staff um, who serve the meal and participate. Uh, usually it's absorbed in the cost, um, but I felt like if we got a $500 donation from the Civic Fund, then we shouldn't then ask them right. to pay for the staff. The staff can pay themselves, but um, we'll see what the select board they have done it in the past. We haven't asked them in a while. So the money kind of spreads mm -hmm. out over a few years. Um, so that is going to be on their agenda on November 21st. So we will find Excellent. out about that. Um, if not, I will probably ask the staff to pay for their own meals if they want to eat. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But they are the department heads are very helpful during that event serving and helping clean up and do everything. It's a, it's a nice event to get um, the town involved in. So we have the list. Um, people have come in and received um, letters for donations to businesses to give for the Donna Sharon um, raffle. choice yeah. raffle, yeah. chance raffle. Um, I have sheets that I purchased for a different event, not at work. Um, that I'm donating. So they're sheets of raffle tickets. So it's the same number. Everyone will have a number. So we figured we would do $10 a sheet and you get 25 chances. Excellent. So it'll be easier. You'll have a number. It'll be the same number when they come and get it. Like Teresa yeah. has 000112. So we're going to know Teresa yeah. has that in case okay. there's any confusion. That's a good idea. Um, yeah. So that way it just kind of organizes it a little bit different. It's easier. People don't have to fill out their name and address. And we're, I'm not trying to read someone's chicken scratch on yeah, a yeah, ticket yeah, um, yeah. with 100 people looking at me. Yeah. So um, that'll just be a little bit more 
so organized, I think. 25 tickets to a sheet? Yeah, it's like 24 or 25. Um, they're pretty big sheets of, I don't know if people have ever seen them before, but the one ticket is a big ticket and then it's smaller oh. tickets. So they'll have basically 25 chances for $10. And so depending on what we get from, um, the businesses for donations, I know you guys have all kind of split the list and taken names. Do you want to talk about what you're doing for gift baskets or, um, you mean what they're going to be? Did you already hand some in? Or no, are those from other people? Have, those are from other people. Okay. I have some. It just wasn't a good day today for me to bring anything. Okay, but in. the ones on the floor in my office are, are not mine. Okay. Yeah. I don't know yeah. where they came from them. I guess I, I assume they were from you. Not, not yet. So I already have like four or five baskets on my floor in my office. Um and I have a lot of I ideas don't know from. <laughs> for different things. I'm trying to get creative. Uh -huh. Okay. And do different things. Well, I mean, one of them was the like thing. a cute little cooler thing. So I was like, oh, oh that's a great idea. <laughs> but it wasn't you. No, so it's not me. me. Yeah. Okay. And um, Donna and I are going to start going out now. Okay. So and you guys know, because I put H's next to what Harvey's doing. Yeah, and I emailed yeah, that to you, right? Yeah. yeah. We crossed them okay. Us, so, so Harvey's doing those. Um, Did anybody else take any of those specifically? I don't think so. Okay. Um. You took salon palm, right? I You're going to do that. Yeah. So Paul yeah. is going to do that. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Can someone call the Southwick florist and see if they would donate the poinsettias for the tables? Okay. I will. You will? Yeah. So that was a Roy Benson thing. So oh, make yeah. sure you remind uh, oh, okay. Mr. Fox of that. <laughs> I'm sure they, they are always very generous when it comes to that. But Roy always took care of that for me. Okay. Yeah, um, and I did it in his name the last couple of years. Yeah. So now it's a Teresa thing. Thank you, Teresa. Okay, okay. So Teresa will do that. And are we missing anything? I don't think we are. This is new to me, so I'm just... The party? Have you ever been to our party? No. Okay. So we open up... The, so I will start decorating, me and the staff and whoever else wants to come in. Randomly, we'll start decorating next Monday. I try to get a lot done before Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, and we decorate the entire senior center. Um, and we open up the whole senior center for our party. So we can have about 100, 105 people. Um, last year we limited, I think, to 75. 75 we did. But I think we'll be fine with 100 right. this and year. We get people. Sometimes it's the only thing they come to because it is usually Carol and I check people in, and it's the only time we ever see some of these people. Yeah. Because it is so much fun. It really is. The food is fabulous. Practically everybody gets a raffle prize. There are so many. Yeah. And um, usually there's entertainment. Um, so I'm not I mean, sure about it, that this year. I have to yeah, when, yeah, when figure that start out. Start taking the reservation. Um, it is in. It was in this month's newsletter, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but when do we start? So now. Now. Yep. And just give you a check for the fifteen. Um. No. no yeah. When do you pay? Check or cash? You pay now. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um. We already started taking names down okay um and then we set up the whole area so it's in the exercise room the community room and in the dining room is where tuckers comes in and the department heads historically have served the food um people we've done we've done table to table and then we've had buffet where people mm -hmm. come up in line yeah. last year we handed everything handed out everything out which um, seemed to work a little bit better i think yeah so we'll we'll we have time to kind of figure that out we'll see how many department heads can come usually there's hors d'oeuvres on the table or or sometimes yep, so last up. year we did the packages, packages. and i think we we're going to do that again this yeah. year just cuz people liked it yeah so um the staff put together a little appetizer container a lot easier um, to yeah. do that. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. um we just handed out a container to everybody. It had chips and dip and um oh, I think it had I don't know. Don't quote me. I know I'm being recorded and I yeah. can't remember exactly. But it was a nice little it, pack. Yeah. It was a tin and everybody with had a cover little yeah thing. Okay. Yeah. And um so we we did that and people really liked that yeah. Yeah. feature. Yeah. So and then they had their own little thing they could 
and take other food home without me looking. But yeah. then we also have, um, like, after all the raffles, there's like a table of just gifts, and you, you just pull out names and you can come up and pick out something like a door, mm -hmm. prize. Like a door prize. So there's yeah. door prizes, yeah. and, and there's usually a lot of those as well. Yeah. 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 So that uh, really, usually, something. Yes, yeah. yeah. I was just going to say that usually everyone goes home with something. Yeah. 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 And mm -hmm. there were little things on the table too. Last year was little Christmas trees for everybody. Yes. So um, Don Brown, who is in our friends group, actually made the centerpieces. Um, we were going to put them on the dining room tables just like as a decoration, but I might use them for the party too. They're wine glasses with a little thing. She made them. They're very cute. Wow. Um, and she donated me those to me this morning. So they, they are cute. They are they're, cute, they're, right? They're Did she show them to you? Yes, they're, they're very powerful. cute. So people are very generous and um, we just have a really good time. It's very, yeah. very busy, um, but people seem to enjoy it. Last year I didn't make it. I got sick. I had a call in. That's and right. That's I right. Yeah. Last year. I do yeah. It like that. This yeah. Cruise starts that day. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh wow! Another cruise. Aren't you lucky? Yeah. You are. That's all right. We'll forgive the you. Christmas market. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So people are very generous, and we. What this is, is what I'm showing is um, the businesses have donated, and that goes to the chance raffle. So. Um, we set up, I think, four tables full of yeah, raffle prizes a lot, a lot of that stuff. people can win. What do you think? Like one of those Chinese raffles where you put your It's thing called in the a chance bag. raffle now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, yep. So we what call it that. Thing? And that's okay. Um, and we, we, I think it's pretty organized and how we do it. So we had fruit, veggie. Oh, that was before COVID. So I don't know. We'll probably do those baskets again, those little containers again. So is there anything else for that? That sounds very good. Um, what did you say the cost was for that? It's going to be $15. It would have been 20 because of the cost of um, the increase, which, you know, Tucker's has been, Tucker's has been so good to us like their price didn't go up that much but she had to increase it I know they didn't want to but they have to I mean they're a business and I, I appreciate that and I respect that um and we increase it for you know money for the prizes and the food right. and the appetizers and that kind of stuff but we really didn't want to do that this year so that's why the civic fund ended up giving us money so that can keep the cost of 15 it doesn't always necessarily account for all the other stuff, um, but it will we'll make it work because we have so much of the decorations and everything already anyway. Yeah. I don't really have to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, tablecloths are, you know, a buck a piece or a dollar yeah. twenty five now yeah. <laughs> in the dollar and more store. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, so people are just very generous. What so time, we'll make it work. What time on Monday would, would you start decorating? Monday, this Monday for. Okay. Yeah, just throughout the day. So anytime if you stop in. I mean, there's always That's going okay. to be something to do if you stop in and want and you can do an hour. There's a tree to be decorated or things to be put up. I put it, we put a tree in every room. Okay. And we do a lot. Okay. Yeah. Sounds fun. So there's always something to do. There definitely would be a lot on Monday and Tuesday. That's the Monday after Thanksgiving. No, nope, I start this Monday before Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I try to get it done as much as I can before Thanksgiving, because then it just gets like all of a sudden the party's here. Yeah. 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 So it just and trying to work around classes, and so you can't like get into one room while there's classes going on. So it just it makes it more challenging. So we'll work it out. Anything else on the it's the Jingle Bell Jubilee this year? Okay. Um. The booster clinic. So we are having a COVID booster clinic on December 1st. I mailed things out to people who were interested in when we had our flu clinic last month. Yep. Um, and I posted it on Facebook. Um, and it's just people just know about it. So they're signing up for that. It is the Pfizer booster. They're only going to need to do one booster. It's Stop and Shop who's doing it. And it's the same um, people who came for the flu clinic. It ran very well. There's paperwork to be filled out. It was very organized. 
Um, yeah, once the paperwork was done, it was uh, yeah. That's just one booster shot. It's one shot, and it's the Pfizer one. Like you don't have a choice between Pfizer and Moderna. Yeah. Uh, but the CDC, it, and I'm not a doctor or nurse. Or now, I've had all my shots plus one booster. Then why did you get another one? Yeah, this yes. is another. Booster. It depends on your card. I can look at your card and tell you. I think they're good for three months. Yeah, you can look at your card and let you know. Yeah. But if you've only gotten you three shots, then yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's time for another one. Yeah, it's probably time mm -hmm. for another one. Yeah. yeah. If you want to. Again, it's everyone's right. choice and what they want to do. Are there any? Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting involved in that. Yeah. So that is 9 to 12 on the 1st. And we also have um, the mass. And I'm going to get it wrong. I can't think of what it is. It's the mass 911 communications. They will be here giving people information on phones that seniors can receive. Um, and it's also for the hearing and um, visually impaired seniors to be able to get a free cell phone. So um, yeah, you haven't had one in over a year, so you would be eligible for one. Yep, I can give you the paperwork if you want. Yep. Yeah. So they'll, they're will they just gonna have a booth here. So that'll be great. Mass 991. Yeah. It, I will get you the actual name before you put okay. it in the minutes. Okay. Um, I should have written it down and I okay. forgot to. Um, it'll be in the newsletter as well. Okay. <laughs> so that's that day. What's the day on the, on the mass? It's, they're going to be here the same day as the booster okay. clinic. So oh, it'll be okay. um, December 1st. Okay. Wow, that looks good. Yep. Um. Seniors Helping Seniors. So we are raking this Saturday. We have selected six households to do um, via lottery. So um, it will be my husband and I um, and several staff people <coughs> and the police department will help us along with, um, I think it's about 10 high school students um, from the high school you know, seniors helping seniors is a nice catchy name, but it, you don't have to just be a senior in order to help. Um, you know, Hillary, who works here, she's going to bring her two kids to help. Um, so last year we had done about 12 or 13 households and it was a lot. We were and we did it twice. So this year we're only doing it once. We chose six houses. We shortened, uh, made the property smaller because we did, it was a lot of work last year. So we just revamped the program a little bit. Um, and then that will bring us into the winter seniors helping seniors um, shoveling program. So, which the staff doesn't participate in, um, we organize it, but um, the students kind of do that on their own throughout the winter. But this one, we do assist them because we realize that it is, a lot raking leaves, it yeah, like it never ends. Yeah. So, um, a lot of work. Yeah. That so, we revamped it. So, we'll all go to the houses, like do one yard. Um, and so, if there's 20, 20 or 25 of us in one yard, then it will move a lot quicker. Um, and Chief Landis generously um, hooks up his trailer, and we put all the leaves in the trailer, and he brings them to the transfer station. So, um that's how that's how that program has morphed for this year so that is happening this saturday we're meeting here at town hall at 10 and doing it until we're finished so and it's supposed to be a nice day it's gonna be cold but it is gonna be a nice day and hopefully this whatever snow we get will be yeah. will be melted by we're not getting anything we're not getting that. That. yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> um the flakes, but that's it. <laughs> yeah and we did sand for seniors um last sunday November 6th um, with the fire department. Um, my husband and I went out with uh, volunteers from the fire department, the the old chief and the new chief, um, and uh, Jess, the deputy chief, and a couple of vol volunteer firefighters, um, and uh, Chief Anderson's wife, Lisa. She's always very helpful. Um, we went out and distributed, I don't even know how many buckets. Uh, we all split up the list and distributed the buckets, and that's an ongoing program, um, San for Seniors. So ongoing. Yeah. Moving around. I can't believe it's Switched the middle the of November. Yeah, and, and you didn't even see them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 
yeah, we all had our own little parts of town that we did. And yeah. um, uh, Chief Anderson had filled up the buckets that week uh, before we even got there, which was so nice of him to do. And now the fire department will be completely um, distributing those. We used to have staff, different staff members doing it. But again, you have to kind of revamp programs as you go. So seniors can call here to get their bucket and we will notify the fire department of the address to either refill or drop off um, a new participant's bucket. So that's how that program's working. Okay, update on um, other programs, dining room. Dining room seems to be doing pretty good right now. About 10, 12 people we've been getting quite a bit. So it's been more, better than what it has been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, brown stays that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> brown bag? Brown bag, about 32 to 35 bags. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's doing about the same. Transportation? Transportation is kicking up. It sure is. People are wanting rides to go places. Um, and along with transportation, we are definitely looking for more companions. If people are interested in being part of our companion program, we have the need. We just need companions to volunteer to help us with that program. Um, that has been challenging. I think a lot of it is COVID. People are nervous about putting strangers or people they don't know very well in their own vehicles um, or even going to doctor's appointments because they don't want to be near a hospital or do doctor's appointment if they don't have to be there themselves. So, and I get it, um, but you know, that helps with our transportation because people are needing appointments for um, chemotherapy or physical therapy and um, other, you know, companion needs. And our tra our transportation. Two drivers still. It, well, not even that, but just the FRTA. It's it it's busy, mm -hmm. um, and we need volunteer drivers for our trips and for our overflow because like Donna just said, we only have two volunteer drivers right now. So we need those. We need that as well. And I ask everyone <laughs> <laughs> multiple times, <laughs> including Donna's husband. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's that. Finances? Finances are good. It's becoming budget season uh, once again. One thing I am going to ask for is a new photocopier. Um, because our photocopier is now shared with park and rec and maintenance. So it's fine. I mean, it is starting to break down more. So to be proactive, you want to plan for that. Um, so I will be adding that to the budget request and we can talk more about that in um, December. Uh, yeah, December and January's meeting. Yep. Mm -hmm. And classes seem to be going well. Yep, classes are going well. Tai Chi is a little low in attendance, so we need to boost that attendance up a little bit. I'm not really sure. I'm hoping January will be better. Um, I'm still looking for an aerobics instructor, so hopefully we'll be able to um, do that. Any other new business? Okay, moving on to old business, our... 100th celebration, November 16th. Yep, so that is Wednesday. We are ready for that. Um, we're going to decorate tomorrow. We're going to decorate tomorrow. Um, yep. Our cards are canceled, but I'll still come in and help you with whatever. Okay, and that's just like hanging some stuff up. Yeah. We'll do that after lunchtime. Yeah. Okay, Yeah. so about noontime? Probably like 1230. Okay. If you can come in. Yep. Um. And we have quilting tomorrow night, so they're going to put the, the um, tablecloths on the yeah. room in there when they're done. Yeah. I asked okay. them to yeah. do that today. Um, <clears throat> we have pizza coming from Village, and um, the select board will be presenting their citations at 12, and I believe um, Senator Vilas' office is sending a representative, and Nick Boldiga, the state rep, did say he was going to be here. So. Um, that's great. They'll give them citations. I got them crowns. They have sashes. They have corsages coming. It's going to be um, that's, that's a fabulous a, that's, that's celebration. So nice. It's going to be so a fabulous nice. celebration. We have about fifty people. We got three of them, right? Three, yeah, yeah, yep. God bless them. 
Yeah, so it's yeah. going to be, um, and just for the record, we do birthday parties for people who attend the senior center. We don't do parties for someone turning 100 that we don't, I wouldn't know. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm not opposed to it, but I guess I just wouldn't know. Like, yeah. I don't know when everyone's turning yeah, right. 100. Yeah. That's yeah. not how the senior center yeah. operates. Yeah. Well, I'm just putting it out there because... Yeah. There's always someone that yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. So these three ladies have been active participants in the senior center. Um, two of them were just here on Wednesday, um, one playing bingo and one playing Scrabble. And Josephine comes two or three times yeah, a week. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows Josephine. So um, you know, so it's if we don't know them and we don't know that they're turning a hundred, we can't celebrate them yeah I guess I just wanted to say that for the record okay. um so that'll be on Wednesday the entertainment starts at 12 30 they'll be in the exercise room um for about an hour and it'll be a it'll be a great day it'll be fun good yeah, you can move this downstairs yeah <laughs> <laughs> any other old business anybody has anything they can think of just the Veterans Day um, breakfast went really well. We oh, had over yeah. 30 oh, people so here. Nice. So yeah, nice. It was, so yeah. it was nice so to nice. honor our veterans. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it was great. Yeah. That's really, that's really it. Okay, seeing nothing else, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. I second. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. Okay, we need a roll call vote to adjourn. Paula. Yes. Carol? Yes. Teresa? Yes. Jack? Yes. Donna? Yes. Okay. Call them end of the meeting at one o'clock. Yeah.